Welcome Arithmetic Ninjas to question number 34. What is 28% of 650? Now let's start with the fact that the whole thing is 650. So basically what we're saying is the whole thing is 100%. So 100% is 650. Now we need to go down to 10%. Now remember 10% is like a key that unlocks many doors, like a skeleton key or a master key. So we're going to, to get down to 10%, we basically divide by 10, don't we? 100% divided by 10 is 10%. So we need to divide the 650 by 10 as well. 650 divided by 10 is going to be 65. Now we know that 10% is worth 65, we can build this back up to 20% by doubling it. So if you double 10%, you get 20%. So if you're doubling the 10%, you'd also have to double the 65. So double the 65. Two fives are 10, put the zero in, carry on. Two sixes are 12, plus the one is 13. So 20% must be 130. But we've still got an extra 8% to find. Now there's a couple of ways you could find the 8%. So I'm going to do two ways of finding the 8%. So method A... And method B. You could, to find 8%, start with the fact that you know that 10% is 65. Now, to get from 10% down to 1%, you would divide that by 10, which means you would have to also divide the 65 by 10. 65 divided by 10 is 6.5, which would basically make 1% being worth 6.5. But you don't want 1%, you want 8%. So you, to get from 1% and build the 1% back up to 8%, you'd have to times that by 8. 1% times 8 is 8%. So you'd have to do times 6.5 by 8. 6.5 times 8, 8 fives are 40, put the 0 in, carry the 4. 8 sixes are 48, plus the 4 is 52. Put the decimal point in, so it's 52.0. Now, what you'd have to do from here is basically get your 20%, which is 130, and get your 8%, which is 52, and do 130 plus 52. 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 plus 5 is 8, 1 plus nothing is 1. So it looks like the answer is 182. But we did have a slightly different method of finding 8%. Now, what you could do instead is recognize that these two numbers add together to make 30%, and then we're only 2% away from the 28% that we need. So you could go 20% divided by 10 is 2%, but you'd have to do 130 divided by 10 as well, which is 13 so the 2% is basically 13. So what you could do then is say, well, hang on a minute. If you add 10% plus 20%, so that's 65 plus 130, which would be 195, and then subtract the 2%. So 30% subtract 2 would be 28%. So we'd actually have to subtract this 13. So 195 take away 13, 5 take 3 is 2, 9 take 1 is 8, 1 take nothing is 1. 182, that's the same answer as we got, doing it a slightly different way earlier on.